Thanks for clicking on the video. Hit us with a like on Facebook, a subscribe on YouTube, a follow on Instagram. You can find us at Homie and the Dude. That is at Homie and the Dude. Thanks again. Enjoy the video. Um, and it'll just move me in a certain direction. I mean, it's all about the music, honestly. I, the correlation is crazy. I, I've never even created a piece without listening to music ever. Yeah. Um, wow. I, I've done a few pieces on airplanes, actually. I wasn't listening to music, but um, everything is about the music. So whatever I listen to on the way to work and it's on shuffle <laughs> will like guide me almost. I'm like, I'll start like thinking, 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 you know, and then I, my school day starts and um, the wheels are turning and then I'll boom, I'll have my first break and I'll start my first stamp. Mm. wipe it off teach 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 school day ends and i'll usually finish the work in the afternoon but um it could just be a song that directs me wherever that day goes and i never have i never have a plan um ever like i don't unless it's a commission piece right where people have sent me um yeah. put it to work off every day i just mm -hmm. which is exciting there's never a plan and then um, by the end of the day you know come usually by 7 30 i'm out there taking the final photos of uh the finished piece be it a big one or a small one so yeah it's fun so you Never do you do a little you do a little bit during first break mm -hmm. you start the hand so and then you'll press that one down yeah sometimes i like there are days where i'll do a single shot where i'll start on my lunch break and then i'll just teach in the afternoon with it on my hand <laughs> just don't touch anything right because like yeah. Um, or I'll do like a piece of a large one and stamp it on my lunch break, you know, and then wipe it away and then go teach and finish in the afternoon. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Do you know what? Uh, you, you mentioned a, a couple of things. Uh, one really resonates with me, Russell, is, uh, is music. So uh, as a kid, when I, uh, when I grew up, I'm, so I'm quite heavily dyslexic and mm. I really struggled with in, in the UK we um the schooling system's a little bit different and we get tested at the ages of 15 and 16 um through what are called gcses and um they're like an examination process to then take you to the next step which is from 16 to 18 before university basically okay and um i really struggled um uh, what we call revising like studying uh, learning my content for those examinations and I found out a big part of my process, whether it be writing, studying, um, skateboarding, creative work in many ways, is editing. always editing. Yeah. Even when I'm editing, yeah, when I'm listening, I still listen to music. And it, it, I ended up going into um, a couple of my exams with music. And I was allowed to listen to music in my examinations. And I think there's something so, so powerful about the way that music is um connected with us and i find for me personally I'm, i feel a lot more connection to older music specifically mm -hmm. things between the like 50s and like 90s are kind of my like big range and i think yeah uh, one song can change a day one one line can change a mood one guitar riff can make you feel like an absolute god for five minutes you know absolutely it, it's <laughs> absolutely. i think it's so underrated the power of music and the influence yeah. it has. And I fully agree with that, dude. I think in my yeah. life, it's been one of the most amazing and, and beautiful things that I've had available to me has been things like Spotify, things like an iPod um, and, and technologies that have been created where I have a, a mass of music that exists that I can go through at any point and, and right. have access to. So I'm very thankful for that as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's crazy. I mean, there's times where often at the end of the day um end of the evening late evening i'm exhausted i'm just like done but i'm like <laughs> not finished with the piece and i'll turn a certain song on and my energy level just goes out the roof right it's yeah. temporary because <laughs> i'll get tired again but like it really does and i have a few songs that, like i know if i hit it i turn it up i'll power through a piece and um but then it's like in my head i go home and i'm like i need to use this music for the piece because that's what like finished it off that was like drove yeah. it home so yeah music is uh, anytime i talk about my artwork with anyone it's 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 always a point of a point to be made it's the music it's the music it's the music um, you know such what's a weird issue. sorry go ahead no go ahead uh, no that was it that was it well i was just gonna say like the, the whole music thing is is strange because i mean if you we really strip it back we're you know we're humans and like if it, like you're, I, I have the same thing like when i'm working out if there's a certain if i'm not feeling mm -hmm. great 
right. and I put a track on, it generates energy in me, right? Yep. But so, so there's chemicals inside my body that mm -hmm. are doing whatever they're doing and they're low level. And then you turn on something that has sounds like, the you know, frequencies sound, bubble. Yeah, dude. And yeah. so those sounds are put together, manufactured together, mm -hmm. right? To create something that it's almost like magic, dude. It's I was just like going to say, right? I was just going to say it, it's magic. You took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, we're so used to it, right? Since children, we listen to music. It's part of our lives, but it's absolute magic. <laughs> like there's no other word for it. I mean, the way it makes you feel, the frequency, the vibrations you can get from it are, that's magic. Also, I would, I would throw out there as well, you know, it, it, and something that we're all missing during this coronavirus time, unless you're happening to be in places like New Zealand, Vietnam, or Korea, you yeah, know, where, where, right. where they're not having many issues, is I'm not sure, Russell, how many like music festivals you've been to or like big open air like gigs you've been to, but here in the UK, festivals are like our whole summer, like especially yeah. for people from 15 to like, Four, I was just say like 50, 60 in some cases. Like we have Glastonbury Festival and like all the big yeah. ones happen in the UK. Yeah. And there's something about being in a crowd of yeah. 100,000 people and you're listening yeah. to music that you all love. And like you say, you can feel the vibrations from the bass in the ground, in your heart. You can feel the person next to you on every side of you. And it's yeah. like, there's this unity as humans that we get both uh, in in listening to music and being in that space with people and i think you know your, your whole point of it, it can pick you up it can change and uh, dude it's as mundane as you could walk downstairs and i i know that on a saturday morning or, or a sunday morning if i've got to do some hoovering or some vacuuming around the house that is going to be so much easier <laughs> if i've got music that i'm bit bobbing right. around to i'm doing right. like my movements yeah. to the tune yeah. you know it's your dance partner at that point. <laughs> exactly. And it just allows for this, this, I don't know, it unlocks something. When someone says to me, I don't like music, I look at that person because I've met one or two in my life and I'm so confused and baffled by them every yeah. single time. I'm like, you mean you don't understand music? That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't understand what music can do. Uh, but you know, here's the other thing. Like, I think art is a similar, similar thing. Maybe not, you know, because art gives it to you in a, in a very... Um, immediate so when you see something that you connect with it's very yeah. instantaneous it's right visual, and it hits, visual, yeah. It, yeah it hits a part of your brain that's very different than logic and words and all of that it's just it's a it's a visual connection um, but and, and I think your work is very much like that like if someone's scrolling your page certainly my experience dude was very instantaneous it was just like this, this is fucking awesome this is like genius not yeah. just not just the the, the process of hand stamping, but the quality of your painting, the mm. quality of seeing it on a hand and, and how it transfers onto a, a, you know, a piece of canvas is crazy. And I think a lot, you know, it's, it's a similar experience to music. There's an, there's an unspoken message delivered from something not so like, it's on a computer, so it's not even like in the same room as me, it's virtual across the world. And I see it yeah. and feel something, like it, yeah. make, it makes the chemicals in me change. Right. So art is a similar, you know, similar, it's similar, isn't it? It's, yeah. But it's yeah. so weird to put the chemicals in it. Change. Love it. <laughs> it's true, though. It's crazy. I, you know, about the music, there's times where I'll have families commission me to do uh, portraits of their kids, right? And then I'm like, I always, I always make a video to the, for whatever piece I'm working on. I'm like, what, is there a song you'd like that's special to you or with your kids? And they're like, Mm, you can pick anything i don't we don't really listen to a lot of music i'm always baffled like it's happened multiple times i'm like okay you know but in, <laughs> back in my head i'm like really like there's not a song during your pregnancy or during the childhood or you and your husband like the wedding song anything they're just like i yeah, know whatever you want i'm like all right you? You're oh, like <laughs> hendrix it is <laughs> yeah like, exactly handsome hendrix you asked, you, you asked for it right Hope you all enjoyed this pod clip. Hit us with the Holy Trinity. Go to our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, which is at Homie and the Dude. Like, follow, and subscribe to all of those. And thanks again, guys. Have an awesome day.